the engulfing pattern is one of the most powerful candlestick patterns among all the candlestick patterns out there. So if you are not already using this engulfing candle pattern in your trading strategy, then you want to watch this video. Because in today's video, I want to show you how do you use this engulfing candle strategy to find explosive moves in the market. Now, the engulfing candle is one of my favorite candles because uh, it's very versatile. It can be used for both with trend trades as well as counter trend trades. So in a moment, I'll show you how to actually use this to find explosive moves. So what will you learn in today's video? The first thing I want to go through is I want to go through what an engulfing candle is. I just want to do a very brief uh, run through just in case uh, you do not know what an engulfing pattern is. Okay, actually we cover this extensively in our three day trading guide. Uh, we have a candlestick pattern cheat sheet in the three day trading guide. So check that out if you have not. Okay, it's free. You can download it. The link is in the description. Okay, I also share uh, why the engulfing pattern is so powerful uh, because I want to convince you that you should be looking for engulfing patterns when you're trading. But I want to just give you some explanation of why you should be using it. Then I want to show you how to actually combine it with a trend line. Okay, this is a very powerful combination. If you can integrate the engulfing pattern with the trend line, that will help you catch explosive price movement. So what do I mean by explosive price movement? I mean trades which uh, have very tight stop loss and move a lot. Okay, so that would mean a very, very good uh, reward to risk ratio trade because you have a very small stop loss and you have a big profit target. So I will show you how to do that. Okay, I'll show you two case studies of two recent trades that we took. I'll go through them step by step so that uh, you can really understand how to apply this. And now if you stay to the end, I also have a bonus tip for you. I want to show you how to find higher probability engulfing candles. Now, a lot of people, they talk about engulfing patterns, uh, but they do not break down that there are actually two types of engulfing candles. Not bullish and bearish, the other two kinds, which I will go to go, go into depth at the end of this video. So make sure you stay to the end. Okay. By the way, if you are new to this channel, please give us a thumbs up. Right. Uh, we would really appreciate it. Okay. At the same time, just leave a you know, comment down below. Uh, let us know if uh, you have any questions. Okay. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the no notification bell. So let's get into today's video. So what is the engulfing pattern? So I have a, a picture over here. It's very simple. So engulfing pattern is basically when um, you have the uh, candle A and you have candle B. So when you have candle B that closes above, um, you know, uh, the previous candles open for a bullish engulfing candle. So in a bullish engulfing example, what you will see is that the closing price of the second candle, which is this candle B over here, will be above the opening price of the previous candle. The opposite is also true for a bearish engulfing. The bearish engulfing, you have the candle A and you have the candle B. So what happens is that in a bearish engulfing, price is going to close over here. So price will close lower than the opening of the previous candle. Okay, it's very straightforward. If again, if you are confused, our three day trading guide has all this good stuff, all the how to read candlesticks, you know, the different candlestick patterns and the candlestick sheet sheet is all there. So I won't spend too much time because this is uh, really, it's pretty simple. So let's move into why this is so powerful, okay? If you understand why it's so powerful, then it is more likely that uh, you stick to it, you actually implement it into your trading system. And that is why I want to convince you that you, that you should be using it, okay? The engulfing pattern is very powerful because it shows that the previous momentum has been completely reversed. So imagine you have a candle like that, okay? This is the... Uh, you know, let's say this is the bearish candle. And then after that, you have a bullish candle like this. So what is this saying? What is the engulfing pattern saying? It's saying that this entire bearish momentum is now being reversed, meaning that the bearish momentum has 
ended, right? You, you do not see any more bearishness and instead you see a nice bullish uh, movement here. So it is very powerful because it tells you that, okay, the previous momentum has just ended. Now I want to catch a new momentum. So what you're essentially doing is you are catching the start of a new momentum. Okay, this is very important. You are catching the start of a new momentum. And when you catch the start of the new momentum, you are going to have a lot of meat in the movement because the trend has just started. So let's say, you know, price has been going down like this and, you know, it starts reversing and you start entering somewhere here just when the momentum has just shifted. It is very likely that you can catch a very nice move up because you just caught the first wave of the uh, trend change. So this is what the engulfing pattern does for you. It shows you that the previous momentum has ended and now you're in, in a new momentum. And if you enter in early, you are able to catch a lot of meat over here. Okay, so that is why uh, you should be using it. Okay, the other factor is that the engulfing pattern is also very versatile. Okay, I don't care whether you are trying to trade uh, a retracement, you're trying to catch a pullback, or you're trying to catch a reversal. It is still applicable. Okay, let's say you are, you are looking to, to buy a retracement, there's a trend. There's a trend, something like this, uptrend. And uh, you're looking to buy the pullback uh, at the previous uh, high. Okay, a very simple strategy. So what happens is that uh, if you look for engulfing pattern here, what you're essentially saying is that you're looking for the reversal of the uh, retracement. And that is a very good way to trade because uh, you are following the trend and you should know that your highest probability trade and your most profitable trades are going to be when you trade with the trend. Okay, so that's how you use it in when you're trying to trade uh, into an existing trend. The opposite is also true. It's also equally powerful when you're trying to catch a reversal. So let's say price has been going up very high. Okay, and suddenly you see that there is a uh, there is an engulfing pattern uh, forming at the top. Of course, you could go short, even though I wouldn't recommend it. But here's the thing. If let's say, suppose you entered somewhere here, and you see an engulfing pattern, that is also your cue that you should be exceeding exiting the market with your profits. So this is why the engulfing pattern is so powerful. There are so many ways you can use it. And the last thing about the engulfing pattern is that it shows you clearly where to place your stop loss. A lot of people do not know where to place their stop loss. They place their stop loss at levels uh, where the market uh, is going to go. Meaning that uh, where the market makers are going to hit your stop loss to take you out of the trades. Okay, because trading a zero sum game for you to Make money, someone else must lose money. So um, the market makers and institutional traders have to stop you out in order to uh, make a profit. Okay, I've talked about this in my other video. Okay, I'll leave a link at the top right so that you can check out uh, why institutional traders need you to lose money. But basically, in, in the case of the engulfing pattern, if you have a pattern like this, and you have this engulfing here, it tells you clearly that... Uh, you can place your stop loss just below the engulfing pattern. Why is that so? Very simple. Because if let's say that you are expecting that, okay, so the um, bearish momentum has ended and now it's bullish, any price action below this level, below the engulfing, would invalidate your trading idea, would mean that you are wrong. So there's really no need to, to place your stop loss anywhere else except below the engulfing pattern because if your premise is that this is uh, bearish and this becomes bullish, there is really no point to, to be holding a trade if this level over here is violated. So it is very clear when you are trading engulfing pattern, it tells you precisely where to place a stop loss. So no guesswork. Okay, you see an engulfing pattern, just place the stop loss a below or above. Okay, depending on whether you are buying or you are selling. If you are buying, then you want to put your stop loss below uh, the low. And if you are selling, you want to put a stop loss above the high of the uh, engulfing pattern. So hopefully you are convinced. Now I want to show you step by step how do you combine this engulfing pattern with a uh, trend line. This is one of my favorite strategies. It's also a very beginner-friendly strategy. If you are new, 
you, you, you're still struggling, you want to pay attention to this because this is very important and this can make you a lot of money if you apply it correctly. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll walk you through the four steps. After that, I'll transition, do the charts to show you how to do it with two case studies of two trades that we recently took and it was very profitable for us. So hopefully that will solidify your understanding and help you uh, apply this strategy. Now, step one is you want to identify the key support and resistance level. So you want to be looking for a resistance level or support level that has been holding for a minimum of three days. Now you might ask me why three days? Based on experience, you need price to consolidate for a substantial amount of time before uh, the breakout is going to be explosive. So three days is the minimum. Of course, the longer the better. If you have 10 days, it's better. You have 20 days, it's even better. Just think of it this way. If you know, price is being uh, like a spring, is being compressed for a long time, then when it breaks out, it's going to be more explosive move. So in this step one, I want you to really focus on movements that are, you know, have been consolidating for at least three days. This is very important. Okay, do not go into the lower time frame and do it, especially if you are still struggling. Because if you go into the lower time frame and you do not identify your support and resistance correctly, uh, you're going to have a lot of fake out and you're going to lose a lot of money. So please stick to the uh, three days rule that I've put in here. Okay, this is to protect you uh, from blowing your account. Now, step number two is you want to draw a trend line. So a trend line, uh, just in case you do not know, it's just something like uh, this. You just connect the two lows or the two highs. Again, I have other trading videos on this. What you can do is you can go to our channel and search trend line and uh, you'll find ton of examples on how we draw trend line and other trend line strategies. Okay, it's all there. Okay. Step number three is you want to look for a series of engulfing patterns into the key support and resistance level. Okay, this is very hard for me to explain to you uh, over here, but what I'll do is I'll go into the charts to show you how to do it. Okay, step number four is you want to enter when you see an engulfing pattern with your stop loss above or below the candle high or low. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the engulfing pattern tells you precisely where to place your stop loss. So what you want to do when you see the stop, uh, the engulfing pattern is to enter and place your stop loss accordingly uh, and enter into the trade. So hopefully that is clear. Now let me get into the charts. I want to show you the two uh, trades that we So we are at the charts right now. So the first currency pair that I want to show you, it's pound dollar. Okay, so what you can see over here is that I mapped out uh, this resistance level, uh, 1.3132. Now, this resistance level has been holding for, if we, we were to count, one, week, one day, two, three, four, five, and right now it's about six. So this meets the requirement of minimum three days of consolidation, meaning that our price has at least uh, been consolidating for at least three days. So in this case, it has consolidated for six days. So that's step number one. Step number two is to draw a trend line. So if you were to go into uh, the H4 chart and uh, you connect this uh, low over here, this swing low, and uh, this swing low, then uh, you will get something like this. So again, uh, if you do not know how to draw this, uh, just check out our other videos about how to draw a trend line. Okay, we have that uh, for you as well. So step number three is that uh, you want to look for a series of uh, engulfing patterns. So over here, you can see multiple engulfing patterns. You have uh, one over here. This one is engulfing pattern. Uh, you have another one over here. This is another engulfing pattern. Uh, you also have one over here. You have this as well. So you can see that there's really a lot of engulfing patterns. Uh, this one kind of qualifies as well, even though the pyro candle isn't, um, isn't necessarily uh, bearish, but uh, the idea is still the same. Uh, this is this candle close is above uh, the candle board, body. So something like that. So you can see that there is a series of engulfing patterns uh, attacking uh, the level. So what you could have done is that uh, you could have, uh, you know, there are many ways you could have entered this. Uh, you could have entered, let's say over here, you could have entered something like this. Uh, place your stop loss below and, uh, you know, just uh, try to go for the breakout. That's one uh, example of how you could have entered. You could have en 
entered at this candle, you could have also entered at this candle. Let me just clear this and uh, show you. You could have entered something like this and place your stop loss just below the uh, recent low, something like that, and then just go for the breakout. So you can see that there are multiple opportunities to enter this trade uh, because there were multiple candles. But if you stick to this process of uh, you know, identifying a key support and resistance level with at least uh, three days of uh, consolidation, then you draw a trend line and you look for a series of engulfing patterns uh, on the trend line. In this case, the uh, engulfing patterns happen on the trend line so that you have confluence. If you see this, then uh, this is a good trade setup. Okay, so in this case, this pound dollar trade hasn't fully break out yet, but um, we are feel pretty confident that uh, this trade is going to break up uh, quite a substantial amount because price has been consolidating for six days. So this is going to be a nice breakout. So uh, hopefully, maybe if you you are still watching this video when it hasn't break uh, broken out, uh, you could potentially take this trade set up. Okay, so this is the first uh, currency pair. Uh, the other one that uh, we want to talk about is the crude oil trade. Okay, we did not send this out because um, the price fit for uh, different brokers are different, meaning that uh, because this is a CFD, a lot of people are trading using different brokerages. So uh, we did not send this out, but this was a trade that we took. Same concept, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the uh, daily and you want to find a key support and resistance. So in this case, it's a resistance level. So depending on how you draw it, whether you draw this one or this one, in this case, I think uh, if I remember correctly, we drew this one. So what happens is that you have uh, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days. So uh, regardless of whether you take this candle high or you take this uh, candle high here, uh, the conclusion is still the same. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So either way, it meets the criteria of at least three days of consolidation. So if you go into the go into the H four and connect uh, this swing low with this swing low over here, you can see that uh, this was a very nice engulfing pattern. This was a very good entry as well. You could have entered something like this and uh, put your stop loss just below and you know uh, wait for the breakout uh, to happen. So this is how you could have done it. Okay, uh, just let me break down uh, the engulfing patterns for you just in case you can't see. You have engulfing pattern here and uh, you have another uh, engulfing pattern. Uh, this is almost engulfing pattern, it's not. Okay, it's almost but it's not. But uh, in my case, I would just, you know, just kind of give it a pass. But this is definitely engulfing pattern over here. So you see, it's always the same thing. You want to look for a key, key support or resistance level. You want to draw a trend line. You want to look for a series of engulfing patterns of the trend line. So hopefully that is clear. So that is how uh, we took these trades. Okay, so let me just uh, return back uh, to the uh, PowerPoint slides and uh, just go over uh, the last thing that I have for you today. So I want to share with you a bonus tip on how do you find higher probability engulfing patterns. Now, earlier on, I explained to you what a engulfing pattern is. Uh, it's just a very simple um, diagram over here. You have the uh, close above uh, this one over here, above the open of the previous candle. Same thing for the bearish. Uh, you have a close uh, below the open of the previous candle. That is your usual engulfing pattern. But if you want a higher probability engulfing pattern, then what you want to see is that for a bullish engulfing pattern, the close is above the high. So the close is above the high of the candle. Okay. In the case of the bearish engulfing, you want to see that the close is lower than the low. So in this case, the low is here and the bearish candle closes below the low. So you compare this and this. This one only closes below um, the close, the, sorry, below the open, but it doesn't close below the low. In this case, the same thing, it only closes above the open, but it doesn't close above the candle high. So in this case, this is your higher probability trade setup because it shows more strength. It shows more conviction in the market. So if you are looking to trade engulfing patterns, you want to pay attention to this and you want to look for uh, patterns which close above the entire range of the candle, not just the body of the candle. So hopefully that is clear. Uh, just a, 
implementing this will increase your win rate and help you find higher probability and gapping patterns. So just a recap of what you learned today, I covered why engulfing pattern is. Basically, uh, the candle closes above or below um, the body of the candle, of the previous candle. Okay, I also talk about why the engulfing pattern is so powerful. Right? It tells you that the momentum has ended and it helps you to enter just when a new momentum is about to start. Okay, it also shows you uh, where to place your stop loss precisely. That's a problem that a lot of new traders face, where to place your stop loss. This pattern solves that. I also showed you a step-by-step -step guide on how to combine the engulfing pattern with trend line to catch explosive price movement. Step number one involves you know, finding a key support and resistance level. Step number two, you draw a trend line. Step number three, you look for the um, series of engulfing patterns. And step number four, you enter the trade and place your stop loss below or above the candle high or low. Okay, I also look at two case studies, which is the pound dollar trade and the uh, um, crude oil trade. Okay, and lastly, at the end of this video, I share with you how do you find higher probability and graphing candles. Basically, you want to look for the candle to close above or below the entire range of the candle, not just the body of the candle. So hopefully that is clear. So thanks for watching, right? Remember to give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you have, have not, and also make sure you download our daily trading guide if you have not. If not, thanks for your time. Uh, we welcome any questions that you might have. All right, I'll see you in the next video.